What's up, Internet? This is Charlie, a writer from TechInform.us, and luckily you have found this YouTube video. And that means you're actually interested in what I have to offer here. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Single Player Commands mod. Now, this is actually a pretty popular mod. I've seen a lot of people that have this. All it does is it basically lets you have a whole bunch of different mods in one mod, if that makes any sense. It's kind of like a console tool for any of you hardcore modders. So, I found this link right here is on the minecraftforms.net. This link will be in the description below the video. So, we're going to be brought to this page. We're going to scroll down and down. And we're basically just going to scroll down until we find this link right here under downloads. So, all you, have, all you have right here, if you're running a different version of Minecraft, then you can download it for your specific version, but I'm running 1.7.3, which I believe is the newest version. So we're going to click that link right there, it'll download. And I might add, before any people have walked, before anybody walks away, thinking this video is nothing, I will also be showing you guys how to install mods on Mac OS X Lion, because it's a bit different than um, Snow Leopard. So, once that is downloaded right there, we're going to get this file. This file is singleplayer. Blah, blah, blah. So it comes in with all these different instructions right here. So what we're now going to do is, um, it's a bit, it's a lot different than Snow Leopard. Um, if you're online, you're gonna actually going to need to download this app called Tiny Expander. This would be in the Mac App Store. So I'll be back to you guys when I find it. All right, so here it is, Tiny Expander. Basically, it can expand all different sorts of files like .jars, .rars, .tars, all these different things. So you're gonna need to buy, not buy. This is a free application, but you need to get this app. Keeping this app, keeping this Finder window open with the, all the downloaded classes, minimize. We're gonna minimize that and go up here to Go, and we're gonna go to Go folder. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to close this window, but I'll just reopen it. So we're going to go down to Go, and we're going to go to Go folder. Now, the reason we have to do this is because if you go into your Macintosh HD in, in Mac OS X Lion, they've removed the library, um, basically the library folder from your actual user. So if you go into the Macintosh HD, you go to Library, Application Support, Minecraft is nowhere to be found. So you actually have to, you actually have to type this in. For the specified application, we're going to type forward slash users slash my. I'm going to do my username slash library slash um, application support slash Minecraft. Now I might add these are all forward slashes. So we're going to hit go. This will bring us to this folder, where right here we have our bin. We're going to go ahead and double click this. Now what we're going to want to do, we're going to want to take this minecraft.jr, we're going to right click and we're going to hit copy it, and we're going to make, I personally am going to make a new folder on my desktop that says backup. So we don't want anything to happen to our minecraft.jr. We're going to paste it in there just to make sure nothing happens. The next thing we're going to do while in this window we're going to right hand click and hit new folder. The folder doesn't have to be named. Now, we're going to drag the minecraft.jr while still in the bin folder to the untitled folder. We're going to go and open up that, that folder and we're going to right click on the, the minecraft.jr right here and we're going to open with and we're going to hit tiny expander. Now, if tiny expander is not in this drop down menu, you're going to have to go to other and then find it in your applications folder. So, you're going to hit tiny expander. This will bring up all these different things that are in your Minecraft.jr. So now we can actually delete the Minecraft.jr by hitting Command Delete. So this is all the contents of our Minecraft.jr. So what we're going to want to do, we're going to want to go to the modded um, files and follow the instructions that are found in the readme.txt. But I'll be going over, uh, going over this so you don't have to actually read this. I might add, I do not take any credit for creating this, only showing you how to use it. So it says in the instructions to take all the um, .clas, or the class files, and highlight them all and hit Command-C. We're going to copy them, 
into the folder. So you paste a whole bunch of items. Now we're going to also paste these, this one, and these ones right up here. And if any files come up, we're going to have to hit replace. Also, we're going to want to copy this one and paste it. Now, as you can see, I skip right here the world edit.jr. Um, I found that this actually is not relevant, but if it doesn't work, um, I'll make sure to put a huge annotation right here saying you have to add this too. But going on, we're going to X out of the modded thing, the modded window, and then keep in mind we're still in this untitled folder. What we're going to want to do, we're going to want to hit Command A. This will highlight every single thing here. You're going to right hand click on one of the items and we're going to hit Compress 717 items. Now, this will create a zip folder, but as you can see, you've got 700 items. It's going to be kind of hard to find. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the search bar. It's going to be called archive.zip. Okay, and it's under Untitled Folder. And right here. As you can see, it's found right there. So what we're going to want to do, um, since this is in the untitled folder, which is the minecraft.jr we just created, we're going to want to hit enter and we're going to want to transform this into the minecraft.jr. So it's going to go from the zip file to a jr file. All we're going to do, we're going to hit enter so we can rename it and, rename it, and we're going to type in minecraft.jr. Now, this will, now, by changing the extension of the file, it'll make your system read it with a different application, which is allows Minecraft to um, read it in the same way. We're going to hit enter, and this will come up. We're going to want to hit use.jar. So, now if I go type in minecraft.jar right here, um, it's right here. So, we're going to want to drag that to our desktop, um, and we're going to want to go back to our bin file. Here's, we're at the point where we can take our untitled folder and hit command delete to delete, move it to our trash, and we're going to import this back into the actual Minecraft, dot, Minecraft bin folder. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go open up Minecraft. I might add Minecraft has to be open this entire time. And it should, um, you have, should have the mods. Now we're going to go to single player, my world right here. As you can see, it has a big thing that right right about here that says plugins failed to load SPC world edit dot class and then um, please refer to installation instructions. So you can go prior command um, and then it has all these things. So what I'm going to do, this is basically a console for Minecraft. You can type in anything. Right now I have no clip on so I'm going to type in no clip and then no clip is now turned off. So, oh, sorry, excuse me, I had to change displays. As you can see right here, um, I uh, have turned no clip off, and basically you can basically allow pretty much any mod you want. Um, there are endless possibilities. For example, I, I will be making a video on all the, all of, some of which uh, I think are the best mods. So as you can see, it's nighttime here, and I'm going to hit T, that'll bring up the console. And I'm going to type in slash... Um, time, day. Now I'll change it to daytime. Um, I can do go into console slash weather rain. Rain has now been turned on. So, um, the really endless possibilities. Um, one of which also is Instamine. Um, which is pretty straightforward. So we're going to go to T instant mine. And now I'm just clicking, literally clicking only once. I can mine through every single thing, including bedrock, which I thought was pretty cool. So as you can see, pretty quick. Um, I, you have endless possibilities with this. So. What you what the video you've just seen is how to get single player mod single player mod commands as well as how to install mods on Mac OS 10 Snow Leopard. So, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the website that I write for at www.techinform.us. Again, 
that, um, I don't need to spell that out. Also, excuse me, follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash abnercus. Again, that's A-B-N-E-R-C-U-S. And make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe for more technology-related tutorials and also some game and Minecraft reviews and etc, etc, etc. Catch you later.